Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. We resume play with two wars going on, one against the King of Aquitaine for holding in Paris, and one against the King of Sicily, who is rebelling against us, trying to gain his independence. Uh, in addition to that, the other thing I think that I wanted to try to rectify this time is the succession in Middle Francia, though... Uh, at the end of the last play session, I think I gave out some bribes and some titles with the intent of swaying one or both voters to my side. So I think if I give it some time, that might resolve itself. So let's get right back into it now. We have our army here marching to take out this force of King Sylvester of Sicily, which hopefully it will do. It has a slight advantage in terms of manpower. Here we go. We're at a disadvantage with terrain. River crossing penalty. And he's got a defense bonus because of the mountains, but it looks like it's going in our favor so far. Ooh, it's close. Oh, it's very close. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Victory in the Battle of Compiègne. Uh, that's good. That happened up here. I raised our war score there quite a bit. It's very good. Um, where is he going? Arriving Burgoyne. Where? Army of King Raymond of Aquitaine will arrive in... Oh, Borges. Okay, I was confused. Okay, pursue him then, and destroy him. Now, the tide is turning here. We've got a problem. The problem is that our center is weak compared to his center. Um, our flanks are strong, though. So we'll see what happens first. If his flanks retreat, I think we can win this battle. If my center retreats first, it's going to be iffy. Let's see. My center is going to retreat. Uh-oh. Oh, man, this is going to be close. Ooh. Siege of Cannae worked. Oh, victory in the Battle of Saluzzo. That was close. Okay, Siege of Cannae. I think that's... What, was that just lifted or something? Nope, that was our victory there. Good. Ah, oh, boy, that was a close battle. We lost 4,000 troops. And the armies are actually still pretty evenly matched. In terms of size. That's, I think, I want to say in this LP that might be the lowest uh, advantage in terms of uh, manpower that I've entered a battle with. That was close. I should have done a better job balancing my force. I didn't really pay attention to that at all. In fact, I will do that now. There. That's good. Why don't we assign some people here? Actually, Thietmar, why don't you command the center? Louis, command a flank. Magnus, command a flank. Whew! Victory! That was a close one. That siege will... Oh, no, it's not going to take too long. The fort level must be low. All right. Our morale is crap, but then again, so is his. So I'm going to pursue. He's going to Nice. We shall follow. I wonder if he'll have an advantage. 
He does have a bonus to defense, but I don't face a penalty for a river crossing this time. I think I should win this one handily. Hmm, my flank retreated, but I think it's pretty much over. Ah, okay, victory in the Battle of Mentone. He lost more than half of his army. Now where's he going? He's going to Saluzzo again. Alright, we'll finish him off then. Hello, hello. Offer of peace from Sylvester. A white peace, eh? Hmm. We would both lose 100 prestige. I am smoking your ass, dude. No way. You can deal with my wrath. Bring it, bubs. Another defense in the mountains, but otherwise I think I've got this one wrapped up. This flank is not going to hold too long. Victory in the Siege of Bourbon, that's good. Where's that one? That is up there in Paris. Oh, no, in Aquitaine, but we're fighting for Aquitaine. Uh, oh, that force ran away, so why don't you join this one? Okay, uh, meanwhile, this battle is going in our favor. Carlotta Chatenois is now of legal age. She became a skilled tactician. Did she? Who is this? My kinswoman. Gudrun, my cousin's daughter. No um, alliances to be had, so I really don't care who I would. Maybe a matrilineal, maybe bring... No, there's nobody talented that would like to come uh, to my court, so I'll just marry her off to whomever. whomever. How about somebody with good... Stewardship. Somebody close in age. Annabelle. Courtier. Oh, wow. Carlotta would gain 43 prestige from marrying into House de Girardesca and 100 from marrying the relative of a king. Relative of a king, eh? Well done, Carlotta. Uh... Right. Meanwhile, the floor is being mopped with King Sylvester's army. Victory in the Battle of Woo. Pinrolo. He still exists as a fighting force, though, so I will pursue to Nice again. <laughs> Alright. To the heroic Kaiser Norbert. Blessings upon you and your house. I accept your suggestion that Carlotta and Annabala get married. Right, well, it's been six months, and there's been no change in the law, the air situation. Uh, that's not good. Hmm. Stefan Chatenois is now of legal age. He's Midas touched. He is Popo, my cousin's son. Popo is incapable for some reason. Let's see. Bring in somebody talented, would you? How about Maria? She has quite a lot of traits, doesn't she? Marry in, will you? Yes, she will. Oh, and the battle. The battle to end this army once and for all. Uh, he accepts. Stefan and Maria are getting married. The Siege of Melfi was a success. So our war score against Sylvester goes up even more. Good grief. Everybody's coming of age here. It's the Summer of Marriages. Ulrich Chatenois is now of legal age. He became a fortune builder. Ulrich is the son of Peter, my cousin and steward. He's maimed, that's unfortunate. Okay, let's get you married, bud. 
Hmm. Yeah, someone with a good intrigue score is attractive. Negative 200. Well, that's your loss, friend. Victory in the battle. Uh, victory in the battle of Antibes. Oh man, army still exists. Let me guess. He's marching to. Oh no, he's not marching to salute. So he's marching marching to Provence. Pursue and destroy. Uh, blessings upon you and your house. I accept your suggestion that Ulrich and Sophie get married. Very good. Should you continue sieging here? Yes, you should. Continue. Well, it looks like we're gonna have the Sicilian War wrapped up before the Aquitanian War. A little bit surprising. Hey! Stealing my thunder. Victory in the Battle of Arles. Good grief. How do you still exist? Back to Nice, huh? I've wiped out bigger armies in one or two battles. I don't know how the hell he's able to put up such a fight and not get killed. Probably because his morale is so crap that he's retreating right away. Aha! Now he's gone. Just mop up a little bit. Uh, right. Child likes a guardian. Walter, my kinsman. Wenzel and Oda's son. Oda's my cousin. Educate the child. Ulrich. Sure. Okay. Why does I'm ah, just gonna have this army stand down? I think. Not much point in having them around when there's nobody left over there. Just upping their discontent at having their vassals raised for so long. Pope Eugenius has died and been succeeded by Pope Callistus. How do people feel about this new pope? Victory in the siege of Moulin. That was in the Aquitanian War. Very good. Let's see. Looks like everybody loves me. Well, almost everybody loves me. Helfric and Adamar do not love me more than the Pope. Um, Uta. Oda's other child. He's an educator. Wolfgang of Bohemia. Very good. Okay, dangerous factions. Uh oh, independence is at 96%, lower crown authority is at 72. Oh, I can press du jour ducal claims. Need to get these wars wrapped up. Title loss. Still, Kingdom of Middle France, yeah. Adventure threats, yeah, I don't know how much I need to worry about that. Okay, so that one's going to be over in a couple weeks. This one is over, and I'm starting a new one, which should go speedily. Uh-oh. He's back. March up there and take him out. Stand by. All these children. Liutbert. Anselm, Anselm, my cousin's son, okay. Sure, Eric the Unready. Follow this battle once it starts. Ooh, stand by. Need to rebalance. That's good, and shall we assign some leadership? Let's assign the same team that led the other army. There we go. Mmm. Mmm. Keep building Nancy. Ha ha! Surprise! 
facing a penalty for crossing the river. Victory in the Siege of Trani, which is, uh, that's the Sicilian War, yes? War score is 83 there, very good. Okay, you need to march to Salerno. Start sieging something new. Meanwhile... Very good. Center has folded, his flank is folded. Excellent. Morale is spectacular. Very good. Yes, yeah, see, that time we took him all the way down to 233. Where is he off to? Vaccine, huh? Pursue. So I have some dangerous factions now, and I have a um, potential title loss, which is no good. Army has been destroyed. Back to Aquitaine then for sieging. Um, I'm worried about two things, really. Oh, end of the year. I'm worried about those factions, and I'm worried about um, my damn... You're going to go to... Yeah, you're going to siege the holdings I've already claimed, aren't you? Oh, no, maybe not. I'm worried about Aquitaine. Uh, not Aquitaine. I'm worried about the factions and the... God damn it, what's the word I'm thinking of? <laughs> I'm kind of tired, you guys. I'm sorry. Um, factions and Middle Francia. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Siege of Souvigny. That was a Aquitanian fight, yes? Okay, so there's nothing left to siege here. Let's move on to Auvergne. We shall siege there. Um, 83 and 67. These wars will be ending, well, if, assuming I win them, they'll be ending in pretty rapid succession. Victory in the Battle of Briud. Okay, I must have wiped out a small army there in Aquitaine as I was marching. And I am now sieging. Clermont in Auvergne. Very good. I hope I have these wars wrapped up before the independence faction decides to do something drastic. I'm going to go back to Duke Dietmar. Try to sweeten the pot with him a little bit more. Dietmar, Duke of Lower Lorraine. How old are you? 54. Your heir likes me okay. But your heir is ill. Hmm. Just thinking if you died soon, this would solve the problem if you're... You have a rather fetching 17-year-old young wife. What the hell, dude? <clears throat> oh, adulterer. Hmm. If I give him another honorary title... You could be the king's right hand. Ooh, extremely loyal. Uh, oh, I can make him a noble. I haven't I done that yet? I thought I did that. Did I not? All right, let's make him a knight then. 99. Holy cow, that was a big jump. Why did that jump so much? It was 64. The knight was supposed to give him plus 10. But, uh... I don't know why it jumped, unless it removed something that was negative, but, ah, oh god, I hope that... I hope that takes care of it. Hmm. Let's take a look at these factions. If I'm lucky, a lot of the people in this faction are the same people in this faction. Oh. Discovered a plot where Duke Hans of Tuscany seeks to kill Magnus von Zaringen. 
Duke Hans of Tuscany, are you by any chance involved in either of these factions? He is involved in the Independence faction. He's involved in both of them. I could imprison him. Oh, look, if you hover over the name, it shows you right there. Faction members. That would have been handy to have seen earlier. Um, could try to imprison him. Or, uh, well, okay. If I'm successful, that's great. If I'm not successful, that jump starts another war. You're a Valdensian? What the hell, dude? Get out of my sight! You're a very young man, aren't you? Hmm. Duke Heinrich the Chaste, but you have five siblings. He wasn't that chaste, was he? Boy. Uh, this is risky. I could try to wait on this until I wrap up, say, the Sylvester at the Sicily War. And then I just have the war with Aquitaine. I don't want to have to start a whole nother rebellion while the faction... Ah, uh, you know what? Probably doesn't matter that much, you know? He's a member of both factions, so if the factions are going to rebel... He's going to be in rebellion anyway. Maybe we should just try to imprison him now. And let's let's keep our fingers crossed that we actually succeed in imprisoning him. We could use that. That'd be nice. Ah, oh, goddamn! He's raised his flag in rebellion, has he? Where is he? He's there and there. Is he anywhere else? What Sicilian army? What the hell is it doing way up there? Oh, and he's down here. God damn. Okay. This piece of shit. Ah, oh, man. The whole world is a pain in the ass. It's heavy is the head that wears the crown. All right. Let's not mess around, shall we? Surround everyone with everything we've got. <laughs> this is what we call, what we Germans call the final solution to rebellion. Ah, <sighs> okay. Alright, you guys are marching here. You guys marching here. Except for you, uh, except for you, I'm just going to march down here to hopefully take out that army. By the time you get there, your morale should be fine. Okay. Might have a couple small battles where his troops or Sylvester's troops encounter our low morale soldiers. Like this, Locarno. Ah, uh, damn it. Wait, what? Wait. We call an allies. Nobody's going to say yes. Hulkmeister hates us. No, he doesn't. Since when? Oh, you like me more than our enemies. Okay. Well, sure. Join the battle if you want. And Peter of Peter's host is going to say no because he's in a war with us. Okay, so wait. Why did Peter and Sylvester is going to say no because... Well, maybe. Ah, all of a sudden they like me more than their... 
all my enemies. Um, okay, hang on, hang on, everybody, hang on. Battle of Locarno. Victory for us. Very good. Uh, now, what's this? Peter Chatenois. My cousin. He's raised a large army of exiles, mercenaries, and hopefuls, declaring his intention to press his claim by force. He's trying to claim what? The, the Kaisership? So I got a war with Duke Hans of Tuscany. Wait, where is Peter? Is this him? No, it's Aquitaine. What the hell? Peter's in rebellion, apparently, but that war doesn't show up. Hans is there, Sylvester's there, and Raymond of Aquitaine is there, but... Oh, 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 I'm reading down here. Peter of Peter's Host has declared Peter's Host claim on Sweden. Okay, yeah. Good luck with that. That's exactly what I said. Good luck with that, Peter. Godspeed you. Oh, so that means, though, that he has left my council. So now Thietmar. Oh, god damn. Okay, fine. Thietmar. Or, or Anselm, but he's a nobody. I'd rather have Thietmar like me more. Though he is ill. Ooh, I hope you, I hope you die, because then this... Is almost instantly resolved if you're dead. Maybe this will add to your stress levels, huh? You can no longer lead troops, my friend. My enemy, rather. You must raise taxes in Lorraine. And look how much more you like me now. 87. That's good. Don't know if that's going to be enough. Also, Duke Zedirad of Austria should probably like me more, huh? Seeing as he's my spy master. Make you a noble. And... Uh, make you a knight. That'll help a little bit. Um, there was something else I was going to do here. What was it? Maybe that was it. Ah, child likes a guardian. Benedict de Chatenois. Daughter of Ansel, my cousin. Okay. Needs an educator. Sophie von Heimbach. Very good. Alright. Forces are on the march. We're going to kick this dude's ass up, down, and all over the place. Ah, good. Peter of Peter's host. Oh, okay. He's decided not to fight in Sweden. He's decided to come here and help me instead. And so has King Sylvester of Croatia, even though he doesn't really care for me too much after I tried to take one of his holdings. And so does Hochmeister Bernhard, even though he has insulted me over and over and over again these past few years. Wowzer, okay. I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, yeah, there's Hans of Tuscany, bastard. I wouldn't be surprised if Peter of Peter's host, my cousin, has actually only <laughs> decided against invading Sweden and helping me now because he realizes that he stands no chance in Sweden. So these are my Teutonic allies, Hochmeister Bernhard. These are my Croatian allies. Where is Peter? Oh, there he is. That's it? Okay, he's got a fleet. But, uh... That's the Teutonic Order. Peter. Booby. That's not enough. I mean, that's... Oh, that's you. That's not enough if you want to take over Sweden, pal. I like you, but you're not getting anywhere with that. Siege! Duke Hans, this is the last straw. Mm. 
Hmm. I'm realizing. If I'm going to march this army down here, this army's going to be in the way. So I'll march them to Ferrara for now. I'll combine them with maybe that army. March them down. I think that siege can hold out long enough. Actually, you know what? Once this siege is over, which shouldn't be too long, 4%. Good god. I guess you have a high fort level, don't you? Six and a half, yeah, that's pretty high. Well, once that siege is over, I'll just march you up there and you can kick some ass. I won't even worry about the other army. Um, right, how is this consolidation doing? It's going well. It's actually a bit too much, honestly. I don't really need 12,000 men. But you know what? I'll do it. It'll make the war go fast. Okay. Combine them. That is fine for balance. Let's see. How about Louis, Magnus, and Eric, Duke of Baden? Now, you guys are marching to Lausitz to kick some ass. Looks like uh, the Teutonic Order is helping me out quite a bit. Right, that army is almost consolidated. This siege is... Oh, we got so many wars. That siege is almost done. This siege is going to take a little while yet. Okay. You blokes. Norbert's leading the center. Okay. Norbert's all I've got. That's all that can lead. Okay, fine. Make the center stronger, then. Holy shit. Okay, that was, that was too much. Uh, there we go. That's good. Alright, men. March and destroy! Victory in the Battle of Dona! Very good. Bishop Herbert von, uh, of San Paul was captured in battle and is now my prisoner. Very good. He will rot until the war is over, at least. I don't really have any intention of keeping him longer than that. Kaiser Norbert, you're 50 years old now. Congratulations. When did you take the throne? 1260. You've been on the throne 21 years. Doesn't seem that long. Wow. Victory in the Siege of Claremont. That is an Aquitanian siege. Very good. How goes the next siege? Should go speedily. And he hasn't marched anybody else up there to try to take back the holding. War score now in the Aquitanian War is 72. This one's almost done. Oh, and this battle is well in hand. Excellent. And victory in the Siege of Salerno all at once. Victory in the Battle of San Severino. Alright, march to Ferenz. Siege there. You march to Apulia, lift that siege, Tanrivermis of Tanrivermis's host has declared Tanrivermis's conquest of Temish on Kaiser Norbert of the Holy Roman Empire. What the hell is this dude? My god. You're 18. What? Why should I fear you? What? Okay, I can call in Peter of Peter's host. I can call in Sylvester, and I can call in... Bernhard. We'll see. I don't even know who that dude is. Where is he? Where can I find him? Mm, don't think he's going to be a factor just yet. 
world is in tor turmoil. I have four wars ongoing right now. Mm. And coincidentally, Duke Tador of Temish seeks to fabricate a claim on the county of Temish. Well, good luck, buddy. You got a couple people trying to take it from you. Zelma Alaramici seeks to kill Juliana Alaramici. Uh, fine. Italians trying to kill each other. Anselm von Lenzberg's contracted consumption. Grand Mayor of Spoleto. Well, you're not going to live long, are you? 62. That's a ripe old age in uh, 1281. Your cousin, says Peter. Of course I will honor my obligation and answer your call to war. Aw, oh, Bernhardt's not going to join that war. He's in all the other ones, though. Neither is Sylvester of Croatia. Oh, running away, eh? You yellow bastard. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hurry up. Now, march there, and hopefully he can't run away before you get there. Yes! Very good. Excellent. War score with Sylvester of Sicily is now 100. I offer that you can... Huh? What? None of King Sylvester II of Sicily's holdings are occupied by... Alright, which one's occupied? God damn it. Dude. I mean, I have to go take it? <sighs> I have to pull his ass out of the fire in order to get him to surrender to me. <sighs> okay, fine. Wow. Duke Hans's war is going very well. How is the... War score that highly in my favor already, because I have a huge ally army there. And this one, the siege will be over soon. I guess just because I've wiped out his armies, is that why? Let's look. I can look, can't I? Yes, yeah, 68% in the Battle of San Severino. That one should be over quickly. Uh, the Aquitanian War will take a little bit longer. I could perhaps try assaulting. But at this rate, the siege is going very quickly. I'll just ride it out. 